Hi guys, Joe in here, Common Sense Outdoors. Um, so this video, I just want to read a story. I printed it out. <clears throat> and if you're anti-gun, or you don't want a gun, you don't like guns, I'm not trying to convert to anybody. I'm not trying to argue with anybody. All I want to do here is pass this story that came out two days ago on to anybody that might not have seen it. <clears throat> the story was put out by, <clears throat> excuse me, NBCnews.com. So one of the interesting things about it is the mainstream media is so quick to show negative things and any tragedy that happens you're going to see it all over the news and so not often so not often you know what I mean you don't see very often uh, good things that happen compared to all the bad things that happen in the United States so I just want to pass this story on like I say, it was put out two days ago on the 7th by NBCnews.com. As you can tell by the, from the title, it's about gun violence in the United States. So let me just read this to you. The title reads, Gun violence in U.S. has fallen dramatically over the past 20 years. Justice Department report finds by Pete Williams, NBC News Chief Justice Correspondent. Gun violence in America has fallen dramatically over the past two, two decades, and the number of murders committed with a firearm is down too, is down also. Though guns are still by far the leading type of crime we weapon, according to a new report from the Justice Department. I'll go ahead and read the whole thing and then I'll come back and talk about a couple things. As far as where <clears throat> as far as where crime guns came from, the study notes that less than two percent of convicted inmates reported buying their weapons at gun shows or flea markets. Mosquitoes. <clears throat> the highest number, forty percent, said the guns came from family member or friend. About 37% said the weapons were stolen or obtained from an illegal source. The rest say the guns were bought at a retail store or pawn shop. Murders committed with a gun dropped 39% to 11,101 in 2011. Airplane. From a high of 18,253 in 19. 93 according to the report other crimes committed with guns were down even more sharply from 1.53 million in 1993 to 467,300 in 2011 a drop of 70 percent according to the Bureau of Justice St statistics around 70 percent of the murders were committed with were committed with a firearm and of those the vast majority involved a handgun, fluctuating between 70 and 80 percent. The report is strictly factual and offers no analysis about the reason for the decline in gun violence. So, that's that's the whole story. Now let me go back and talk about what it says in specific. Gun violence has fallen and the number of murders is down to also. It's not just talking about murders or people shot, it's talking about all gun violence has fallen, including murders. Um, as far as where the guns came from, convicted inmates reporting where they got the gun that they committed the crime with, two, less than 2% say they got their uh, gun at a gun show or a flea market. So what that means is the majority, let's see, 40% said from family or friend, 
some illegal source. So right there is 77% of those convicted people that committed a crime with a gun got that gun from a family, friend, or an illegal source. That means our government is pushing so hard on background checks and stopping convicted criminals from getting guns when right here the reports show that it won't do any good when the vast majority of those cr criminals committing those crimes are getting that gun from a family friend or an illegal source they're not doing a background check to get that gun which take it or leave it I don't have any problem with a, a strict background check and the vast majority of law-abiding citizens with guns don't care if they have to do a background check <clears throat> what else are we talking about around 70 percent of the murders committed with a firearm and of those the vast majority involved a handgun fluctuating between 70 and 80 percent so 70 to 80 percent of the murders committed with a gun a firearm we're done with a handgun so again our government is pushing to get rid of what they call assault excuse me assault weapons and regulate magazine restrictions 70 to 80 percent of the murders committed were with a handgun you're not stopping anything with the the assault weapons or the magazine capacity I just I, I find this story extremely interesting um, anti-gun folks I'm sure you're, you're gonna disagree with it or find something to argue about I'm not trying to argue with anybody I just wanted to pass the story on and point out a couple things about what's happening right now in today's United States and even if the government was to get exactly what they wanted would it affect anything and I don't think it would according to their own stats right here <clears throat> so let me show you the bottom of the page that I printed if it'll focus in on that no probably not Yeah, by the time it focuses it's too fall too small for you to read it it's just the link HTTP uh, colon slash slash or not colon some whatever that is the two dots <laughs> US news dot NBC news dot com slash underscore news slash 2013 slash 05 slash 07 one eight one zero eight two nine eight dash gun dash violence dash in dash us US dash has dash fallen dash anyway you get the idea and stupid camera I need a new camera guys sorry I wanted to show you the link in case you want to go look it up yourself find it on NBCnews.com so like I say I just wanted to pass this on in case anybody didn't see it two days ago when it came out story was on MSN put out by NBC News it's not every day the news puts out something that's not tragic or dramatic or violence or it's still about violence but this is the good side this is this is good numbers and showing the world isn't the United States isn't coming to what everybody is projecting it to be right now if the gun violence has dropped over the last 20 years why are people going to the extremes that they're going to today why didn't they do it in 93 when everything seemed to be at a high alright guys thank you for your views your support your comments your likes let me know in the, in the comments down below what you think I don't really want to argue with anybody about it I just wanted to pass the story on uh, and like I say if you haven't seen this don't take my word for it go look it up on NBCNews.com alright Thanks for watching.